What is up you guys, this is Space Kryptonite here to bring you the latest update coming to Robocraft. Free Jam has declared Robocraft Legends of the Pit to come this week, which also includes more modes and changes to weapons. So what is Legends of the Pit? What makes this patch different from the rest? Legends of the Pit introduces a new free for all mode that allows players to enter a battle royale amongst each other. All bots from different rankings are allowed, and also Megabots versus Megabots. Let's go through the things you need to know. The amount of players in this game mode is 16 for normal bots and 8 for Megabots. There are respawns which will always be 5 seconds. If you secure a kill, your bot will instantly heal to 100%, so there are no worries when you dive all in on an enemy. There is a point system that will determine the winner. The first player to 20 points wins the battle and is rewarded with 5 times the RP. The points are based off kills and shutting down players on kill streaks. Let me explain. If you secure a kill, you will gain 1 point. If you secure more kills without dying, you will be on a kill streak. Kill streak goes like this 2 kills equals rampant, 3 kills equals dominant. 4 kills equals unstoppable, and 5 kills equals legendary. If you secure a kill on a player that is on a legendary kill streak, you will gain 5 points. The amount the player is worth will be displayed on the HUD above the robot. According to Free Jam, kill stealing is encouraged in this game mode. Like other game modes, you will be paired up with players around your robot ranking. The HUD will also feature top 3 players so you can start hunting them down. There is a new bot color feature that will change the top player to orange which will make the bot stand out from the enemies. Lastly, in this game mode you can leave the game without any penalty and you will still earn the RP equal to the points you gained. Now, let's go through another new feature called Test Mode. This mode is a more enhanced way to test your bots faster than before. It is mentioned the loading time is quicker, and the bots are placed in a new virtual test level with no AI bots. Now, AI bots have been moved away from Practice Mode and into a new mode called AI Bots. This mode will be PvE, where solo players can gain RP without the need to join multiplayer. These robots will fight back and grow in strength from Mark 1 to Mark 10. The more robots you destroy, the more difficult the bots get. The bots are also provided by the community, so you may find some similar bots. The future of this mode has yet to come, so expect more in a later update. Now, balance is key, so listen closely. The community has spoken and Free Jam has delivered. Medic's RP income has been increased by 15% for healing. There is also a big decrease across all weapons to increase the amount of time it takes to kill a bot. The damage of all weapons except for rails have been buffed. 8% for SMG, 7% for plasma, 5.9% for nano damage, and 8.3% for nano heal. Now, there are also changes to overclock values, which will change early game damage compared to late game damage. The amount has been adjusted to make it more even for all weapons. SMG near damage is reduced by 50%. SMG far damage is reduced by 20%. Plasma damage is reduced by 30%. Rail damage is reduced by 20%. Nano heals is reduced by 25%. Nano damage is reduced by 36%. Electroplate shields is reduced by 20%. Mark 1 weapons are now buffed to help out new players. Mark 10.1 to Mark 10.9 electroplates got their shields reduced and are now matched with their lower CPU costs. TX shields also had a larger number than what was intended, so TX shields are now reduced. So, there you have it. Robocraft Legends of the Pit, where you can engage your bots into intense and fun battles. What did you like the most? Are the weapon changes good or bad? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs. And as always, you guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Space Kryptonite logging out. Catch you guys later.